Astronauts have perhaps one of the most interesting jobs in the world. They venture where very few have been. Over 560 people have made it into space, and with new discoveries and technology, it's said that within the next few years, that number will increase dramatically. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious encounters from the International Space Station. Tim Peake's Photograph The International Space Station is the most famous spacecraft that orbits our planet. It's a large spacecraft and over the last few years various astronauts have called this place home. One of the most common things for astronauts to do while here is take breathtaking photos of our planet. However, some of these are more chilling than beautiful. Tim Peake is a British astronaut who was born in Chichester, England. He was also the first British astronaut to visit the International Space Station. While on board, he took part in over 250 scientific experiments and engaged with over 1.6 million schoolchildren, answering their questions and helping them to better understand space travel. He was launched into space on the 15th of December 2015. He captured many incredible photographs which were shared by NASA to the world. However, one image caught the attention of many worldwide. This was the photograph that Tim shared. At first, many were trying to figure out what they were looking at. The strange object can be seen against the dark backdrop of space. It was instantly shared around social media, with some asking whether it was a UFO or some type of life form. However, it turned out to be something entirely different. This object is actually rather small, around 7mm, and what you're seeing is a chip in one of the observatory modules of the International Space Station. Tim said the following about the photograph. I am often asked if the International Space Station is hit by space debris, and yes, it is. That is a chip in one of our windows. Glad it is quadruple glazed. Incredibly though, the European Space Agency came forward and said this isn't rare. In fact, the International Space Station is often struck by small pieces of debris. What is scary though is that astronomers have said that whatever hit the space station would have been very small, but due to the speed it's travelling at, it managed to cause this amount of damage. The International Space Station is built to survive these types of impacts. However, NASA went on to say the following. An object up to one centimetre in size could disable an instrument or a critical flight system on a satellite. Anything above one centimetre could penetrate the shields of the station's crew modules, and anything larger than 10 centimetres could shatter a satellite or spacecraft into pieces. As of right now, though, NASA have said they are working on technology to combat these issues and help with identifying objects that could potentially cause the space station issues in the future. One theory that's been put forward was that whatever hit the International Space Station could have been man-made. This is because the space above our planet is littered with various materials humans built. A study in 2013 said that there's over 170 million bits of debris outside of our Earth that's smaller than one centimetre. There's over 670,000 pieces of debris between one and ten centimetres, and around 29,000 larger pieces were estimated to be in orbit around the Earth. It's important to note that these objects will fall back to Earth sometime in the future. NASA have said that there's around 3,000 human-made satellites in working order around the Earth. However, if the debris of old and damaged satellites are taken into account, the number increases dramatically. Astronauts have reported that every so often they'll see fast objects fly by. Most of these can be explained and they turn out to be normal space debris. Recently, astronomers picked up on a mysterious object out past the orbit of our planet. They have announced that our planet is currently being orbited by an artificial satellite, and so far it's caused quite a bit of speculation as to what it could be. It was picked up by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. This is a robotic system that tells astronomers about near-Earth objects before they collide with our planet. Over the years, it's detected many objects since first being implemented. The project has also received NASA funding, which has helped to add two additional telescopes in the Southern Hemisphere. Once those two telescopes are installed, 
It will help the scientists to scan the skies and get quicker updates about near-Earth objects. However, after various tests were carried out, the researchers discovered that this object was just a piece of space debris. The Orunga Crater The European Space Agency has released an interesting photograph that was taken over the nation of Chad. It was taken on board the International Space Station by British astronaut Tim Peake. It's known as the Orunga Crater. It's over 12.5 kilometers or 7.7 .7 miles in diameter and thought to be over 340 million years old. Scientists who have studied the formation have said that it was likely buried into the Earth and this is why we can see the large ring-like patterns. The crater is already located close to two other circular features. These were picked up by the SIRC radar. What's interesting about these other formations is that it could mean Orunga was part of an asteroid chain. Although the image and asteroid behind it are interesting, it's a reminder that these giant space rocks do every so often collide with our planet. When we think of NASA, many of us think of the moon landings and other space missions. However, one very important thing they do is scan our skies for asteroids. Thousands of these asteroids can be found all across our solar system. The majority of them can be found in the main asteroid belt which is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. According to NASA, there are more than 25,000 asteroids near us, of 140 meters in size at a minimum. One of the biggest asteroids to collide with our planet happened 65 million years ago. Scientists say that a colossal asteroid hit the Earth causing the KT event and eventual dying of the dinosaurs. When this giant space rock hit, it caused a massive chain reaction of events to unfold. This event would have caused climate and geological changes that interrupted the dinosaur's food supply. In North America, a towering tsunami buried plants and animals under thick piles of rubble. Lofted debris darkened skies around the world, and the planet chilled and stayed that way for years. Within a short amount of time, over 70% of life on Earth perished. Old International Space Station Live Footage Though NASA continues to deny a variety of theories surrounding the legitimacy of alien findings and extraterrestrial sightings, it appears there are pieces of evidence of alien life that are so overwhelmingly obvious that NASA has refused to even comment on the subjects. Some examples come straight from that of the continuous live footage of the International Space Station. For those that are unaware, the International Space Station has a variety of cameras to monitor spacewalks and other areas that need to be under 24-hour surveillance. This has allowed the agency to play the live footage on internet shows, websites, live television broadcasting and so on to help build up an interest in space, gather footage for people to see, or to even take up watching time on the public broadcasting network for the United States under the NASA administration. Recently, there have been numerous events where footage of strange objects float in the distance that has led many to believe it's extraterrestrial in origin. After such incidents are spotted, the footage will later be removed or edited, the live feed will be cut, or the entire incident will be completely ignored by NASA that will often reply that the footage was edited to give the illusion of alien life. Recently, these changes have become so apparent that NASA has admitted that the majority of the live feed broadcasted as being live is actually much older than many people believe. In fact, there have been several proven instances by the BBC of the NASA live footage having been old footage from 2015 played during a 2018 live broadcast. Recently, Dr. Helen Sharman made the news for a statement she came out with. Reported by the BBC, they reported that she said aliens exist and it's possible they are among us on Earth. She said the following about the subject. Aliens exist, there's no two ways about it. There must be all sorts of different forms of life, among the billions of stars. Dr. Sharman is known for being the first British cosmonaut and the first woman to visit the Mir space station in May of 1991. Her take on aliens was that they might not look like us humans and that they could be here on the planet right now and we may not be aware of it. This could be because we don't have the tools to be able to see them. 
This isn't the only interesting comment to come from an astronaut. Going back several years ago, for example, an account of Dr. Story Musgrave details that of a strange creature outside of his spacecraft during two different solo space missions. He would later go on to claim that he does not believe that the sighting itself was evidence of extraterrestrial beings and were not that of alien spacecraft. According to the astronaut, as Dr. Story Musgrave was undergoing his solo mission, he described that he had begun to observe a strange, snake-like creature following his craft. He would later provide an interview in 1994, in which he would state that the creature appeared to be a living snake that moved across space and followed his craft for quite some time. He believed that perhaps the creature was terrestrial and had gotten up to the upper atmosphere to journey close to the spacecraft. Additionally, Dr. Story Musgrave claimed that such creatures were common in space and that during any prolonged space mission, it was relatively commonplace for him to see a space snake following behind the craft. Dr. Story Musgrave would also gather clips of video footage of the space snakes to which more closely resembled the creatures found here on Earth. Dr. Story Musgrave claims that, to this day, he is not entirely sure what the creatures could be and that he has no explanation for his sightings. But what do you make of these interesting findings in and around the International Space Station? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.